because there could not not be pie in Pie Town. I can't imagine Pie Town without pies. Because we're, we're passing through and it said Pie Town and we wanted we to eat pie. We saw Pie Town on the map last night and I said we've got to stop and see if they actually have pies. For about six months, Pie Town indeed had no pie. But Sarah Chavez changed that, taking over the restaurant that shared her antique shop's building. Starting the antique and thrift and gift shop was my passion and what I thought in retirement I would do. I told her, you don't want to get in the restaurant business because you won't have a life. But she's here and she's doing every, all these girls are doing great. Those girls are the work crew at Pie Town Homestead Pies. They have successful big city careers in their past, but are now living in the wilds of New Mexico and making their dough in pie. We decided we were moving from Albuquerque. So we bought a place and I like doing things, so I got a job here. Having a group of girls that had high profile corporate jobs back in the day and now we're all sort of out here doing the second run together. So. She came from the corporate food service world herself before she and her husband decided to retire and homestead in Pie Town. Of course, her husband thought retirement meant, well, retirement. The funny part of it all is that now I have a corporate executive chef at the house that doesn't cook anymore. <laughs> Pie Town sits on the Continental Divide Trail and long haul hikers appreciate a piece of pie along their trek. We have this app everyone uses and it's sort of like the must stop place. I mean, I mean there's not really a whole lot around here so it's like gotta stop here, get some pie, refuel. Our food's awesome, it's affordable as long as we don't bring our voracious hiker appetites in and spend $40 on breakfast. It's fun. The service is good and it's, it's fun to see the personalities in, in here. You can tell that they work hard and they enjoy their customers. They can only make just so many pies in a day and word of the limited supply travels along the trail. Got here early yesterday and time before the pies sold out. I bought two. They were both delicious. I got to share with a bunch of my hiker friends. And we're going to already try to make arrangements so that we can come back for dinner and hopefully be here early enough so that we we see that they quit cooking around four so that we don't get aced out. <laughs> you know these little highways that were coast to coast way back when are now still a part of it all so that's that's a huge thing for me. Sitting on one of those fabled roads, it is another huge thing to her that Pie Town fill its namesake role. For there not to be pie here would be 